Good morning, guys and girls. This is a uh, unique video today, man. It's Wednesday morning, the middle of the week. So I took a day of vacation, came down to the farm after work last night. And what are we doing? I'm here this morning taking down a, an electric cross fence. And the reason I'm taking this electric cross fence down is we are making an investment in infrastructure this morning. That's right. The guys from Paris are coming over. They are bringing 125 tons of lime, which was the equivalent to, oh, five, six, 18 wheelers full of lime and the equipment to spread it. And we're doing all of the 40 acres and our Telephone 2 property. We're gonna put out slightly more than two tons per acre. And we're gonna get the pH up so we can start raising hay on this pasture. So uh, anyway, it's gonna be a fun video today. I've been waiting for this day for a long, 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 long time. The soil has just been so overworked. We need lime and it's coming today. Okay, well, you can see here, here comes the uh, actual first truck that's bringing lime. And uh, once again, I think there's gonna be a total of five trucks, I believe, that, that make deliveries today. Each truck's gonna have approximately 125 tons of lime on it. So they come in and they basically find a good flat spot to uh, work from, and they set up. You can kind of see here, uh, yep, sure enough, there's the second truck. So watch this process. This just really amazes me, technology and how much weight that is and everything. And look at how the hydraulic cylinder on that truck can actually make the uh, bed dump. And I should say the hydraulic cylinder on the bed, but uh, just check that out, man. What modern engineering. I mean, the guy who thought of that, isn't that cool? So there you go. The first truck's unloaded. Uh, these guys are coming from Hugo, Oklahoma, actually. Uh, so it's about a, you know, 40 minute drive each direction for them. So they're gonna be running back and forth. So here's the guys uh, that showed up with the uh, spreader. They also brought their own uh, front end bucket. And uh, I want you to look at the mess they put out here, man. When this stuff, it's so caulky and lightweight. Uh, and of course he's moving at a pretty good clip. It was pretty cool. That truck was outfitted with GPS software. He had a screen in, in there on the dash about a, I don't know, a 10 inch or 12 inch screen. And that thing's GPS tracking the coordinates of the place. Uh, when he starts an area, he makes one lap around the outside. And I think that sets his point. And then he's going back and forth uh, to make sure he covers his ground. So, uh, and he's getting some straight lines because uh, that software is coaching him what to do. So, uh, but yeah, man, uh, th these guys were pros. They've done it a lot. Uh, the good news is we got rain coming this weekend. So I'm excited about that. Well, one thing I wanted to watch, but I didn't want to get in the way, so uh, I've been driving around the pasture to various trees, picking up branches that have fell, making a mess everywhere. You know, I like my place to look nice and clean, and uh, this was a good little job for me to do, is just drive around and pick up limbs and put them on the burn pile, and basically just try to stay out of the cloud of dust and stay out of their way. So wherever he was working, I was on the opposite side of the pasture uh, playing around. But uh, it was just fun for me to enjoy this and to watch it. You know, it's an expensive investment, but in this pasture right here, we did soil samples from Texas A&M or sent them off to Texas A&M Agricultural Department. And uh, they came back and the soil results for these pastures, the lime or the pH actually, was like 4.8 it was below five in all instances which is extremely acidic and very low we really need the ph to be i believe closer to six uh, is the ideal range so we're hoping this will raise it up the bad news is it takes a little while so the day's finished they got the lime out while they were playing around i was also over here where we had that storm damage from the spring I was picking up a lot of these stumps that we had pulled out. So it's been almost a full year since the straight line winds. And we're just now getting this place cleaned up. I got to do a little bit of final box blade work, but all of the stumps from all of the trees are gone. 
with the exception of that one big monster tree right there, tree trunk or stump. And I'm gonna tackle that here shortly. We're gonna cut it off close to the dirt ball. And then we'll take that dirt ball and roll it around the pasture like a soccer ball with the front end loader until we get it off. But we're gonna burn that pile shortly. So it's really been a great day. And uh, as always, glory be to God. If you're new to the channel, hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment.